Just like the old days, Todd. Butter. Just like the old days. That's right. All right, hey, that drill right here is something that you've all seen if you've watched my channel. The lead leg drill, creating what I call that post to be able to rotate around. Now, the man himself who taught me that drill, <laughs> Todd Sones. Okay, what was so, what's so cool, and I'm, and I'm, if you're thinking I'm having fun today, I just times it by 10, I'm having a great time today. So what we're doing here today is we're gonna talk about how to do the hip bump the right way. We've mentioned it countless times on our channel. Everybody sees our players get in there and give it that one, one of these, and they all show up asking the same question when they come. Hey, am I doing the hip bump right? right. And, and it's important to me today that we do two things. We have the man here himself to do this and to really, really paint the picture of what, perf what a perfect hip bump is and what it does. But we're going to talk about how to do the hip bump correctly. We're then gonna talk about the positive effects the hip bump has on the swing with the ability to get the upper body moving in step to in step, which properly transfers the weight without the manipulations many make in order to do that, okay? Yeah. For the common golfer, I think the common golfer that gets a little bit of left hip bump, right? So the ultimate, like you said, they can just rotate and it's a much simpler action. I always, you know me, I like to say weight likes to go where has it been. So if I'm going like this, you know, I'm going to tend to go Absolutely. that way. And the problem with that, for most people, I mean, that's really tough on your back. I mean, I just went, Owen, my son Owen just went through a lot of back trouble. Why? Because he just had a lot of that back up, right? So ultimately I want to load. You know, so I'm, I really feel pressure into that right glute, right quad, so I can really push off of it. Well, if my hip's over there, I don't have to slide to it, right? And the more I slide, the more I can get this way, and the more you can get pressure, right? Exactly right. In the wrong places. So I think it's important. Now, one thing, too, I want to say is that, you know, I, I talk to people a lot about um, understanding the right way to move the hip forward, right? This so, is the key, and this is what everybody so, comes to me asking right yeah, here. So let's so watch this, I see this, a lot of people do this where they go like this. And that's the wrong way. They're right? trying to create that, what we call the reverse K, right? Which is, a lot of people know that term. And they're literally doing it with their spine alone. And right. then all that's doing is curving the spine. Yeah. He talked to me about how the pelvis and the belt line are perpendicular to your spine. Right. So when the hips bump, there's going to be an efficient way of, do, of creating yeah, your so spine. Yeah, so the hips are now perpendicular. So exactly. Yeah. So the, what I always show people I love is this if right I here. go like this, I move that forward, and I slide just a little bit, like one and one, right? One, one. Notice but how notice that my arms drop. didn't go like this. That's right? the key. I'm trying to keep it level, right? So if I go bump, bump, and then I go like this, well, because my right hand is lower than my left, my right shoulder's lower, but I didn't do this, right? Because my hip's not forward here, right? My body's backward, and that's what I don't want. There's never been a day where I've been around Todd on the golf course where I haven't learned something. That one, I love. <laughs> I, lo I always tell people, like, D not from here. Create your hip bump first. Now, a lot of people do this and naturally just creating the hip bump, their sternum drops back a little bit. Right. But as Todd said, done the right way, here's the key, here's the key. I say hips remain square. For a lot of people with irons, the feeling of just keeping the sternum still at first and shifting that forward to create that post is key. And here's the key. If we're gonna create a little bit of that angle, it's not done dropping the right shoulder and curving the spine. It's just shifting it's a over a little bit. The, exactly. Absol it's absolutely. It's a result of this going this way. Boom. Put my hands together. That's good. It's not this. Exactly because right. my hip didn't move forward there. My body went backward. And, and Todd, that, a big that's one. What, that's a great way to chunk the crap out of the golf ball. Absolutely. A big one for me, too, is, you know, say we're hitting it down this line, guys. Okay. The, the common one that I see, people bump their hips, and the right knee gets in front of the left, and they open them up. Some want to do the opposite, and then they'll turn them closed. We're not trying to do either. We're trying to keep our hips square. Putting the club across your belt line, seeing the knees stay in the same line as you create that bump is incredibly important, okay? This, this, this hip bump is promoting your turn, not negating it. And right. that's one thing that's really important. We talked about Mark Hensby on the senior tour, now a winner on the senior tour. You know, he has a beautiful, beautiful reverse K, creates that hip bump, and then effortlessly turns. Now, that alleviates the tension back here. I always say, you'll know very quickly if you're doing the hip bump the wrong way. If you bump your hips and then feel like you're more stuck, not doing it the correct way. It's truly getting, in my terms, getting the femur aligned more over the foot, okay? 
feeling that posted up lead leg, just like this drill, I'm trying to create as much of that as possible. I feel like I have a door stop a little bit more underneath the outside of my right. It gets my right knee just a little bit more on the inside. That creates this brace. I love my players turning into that brace. That's when that pressure right there really is in the inside of that foot and really helps you rotate around that lead leg a lot easier. I just find that people from a neutral position, they try to create this with lateral movement of their lower body. When I have a wedge in hand, I'm really leaving this in place and creating my hip bump just like that. And that gives me all the angles I need. Now, you know, the longer clubs come out, and I would say for me personally, it's like six iron and up to where I feel more of the one and one. You know, where I feel, okay, now I'm bumping and I feel a little bit of that shift to the right, like that, lower body this way, upper body that way. Love the addition of this today. That's gonna help our, our viewers greatly not get into a That's bad it. position right there. I love that. But the lead leg drill, was something big for me. There's, there's really, on the PGA Tour, not one successful golfer who's hitting it off the back foot, right. all covering it and getting onto the front right. foot. Now, what was so great about this drill for me, it created a post, and it helped me really understand how to rotate properly to square the club face up through impact. I remember this leg being straight up and down. I imagined the femur all the way into my shin into the middle of my foot, and then I would set up, and I'd get away from that. And then I found myself doing this. Now, I just, I knew I needed to get closer to that mark. And I wanted to do it in a way that kept my hips square, that shifted the pressure to the inside of this foot and more the flat of this foot. I created a post, a brace, and Todd helped me understand that the hip bump created a spine angle that allowed me to turn behind the golf ball without swaying. Okay, so I love what he did for me. He taught me so well. He got me in drills like this. He helped me understand, okay, bud, to turn back correctly, stick the grip out here. If you're in the right setup and you just turn and I hold your head, that's gonna point at this line right here. Okay, if I didn't have the hip bump, I'm standing neutral and I just turn, it doesn't get there, yeah. okay? Or what do I have to do to get there? Slide over to do it and that didn't work either. It wasn't efficient. And then he had the club out here matching my spine angle and he said, well, from that position, you know, if you're gonna rotate correctly into your left side, this golf club needs to smack up against that wall right there. I did these things so many times, and I did this drill so many times, and I realized, wait, through having the right setup, all of that's possible. So important to be fluid. So you never wanna get into your setup and kind of look robotic and like, boom, boom, bump, still, you know, Try to make it fluid. I get in the golf shot, set the club down. You know, I always say GPS, grip, posture, stance, get my grip. We could throw aim in there. Yep. But get my grip done. I got my posture done. I get my stance done. I'm kind of moving my feet around a little bit. I'm looking at the target. Great trigger. Boom. Just bump. Yeah. And then start your swing. Yeah. So hey, as, soon as, you, as soon as you bump, go. Watch me hit a, watch me hit a real golf ball. Ta, Ta was huge about the way that I walked into shots. And for me, I'm doing all that stuff. I'm getting the club down. I'm getting my grip. I'm getting comfortable. And watch my last move, and it was my entire junior career, my entire career, was hip bump right there. Once I had that, go. At Porzak Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our Full Swing Masterclass will take you on a step-by-step, easy-to-understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.